Today I am starting my winter sowing and I'm going to be starting with my native flower seeds and a few perennials. If you haven't seen the video of what I am winter sowing for 2023, I will link that down below. I am in New Jersey zone 6B and it is January 15th. And the future forecast is looking like the temperatures are going to stay below 50 in the daytime and the nighttime temperatures in the 30s or below. So this should be a good time for me to start these native seeds, which require cold stratification. And this cold stratification is needed for at least 60 days in order for the seeds to germinate. This is also a great time to start those flowers that are perennial to your area. So let's get started and I will go over the details for each of these flowers. So here I have all my containers ready to go with some pre-moistened soil, about four inches in each container and I've added some perlite for drainage. If you need to know more about a detailed process of winter sowing, I will link a video down below. So I also have my labels all ready, as well as my tape that I'll be using to close up the containers. And here are the seeds that I will be winter sowing today. So the first is the calico aster, and these seeds are very tiny, as with many of the flower seeds. So the only way to really do it is just sprinkle them on top. You can't really count them, and just do your best to not overseed. So the calico aster is a perennial for zones 3 through 9, and it is 2 feet by 3 feet wide. And it blooms in the fall between August and October, so it is great for those fall pollinators. Once I've tapped down the seeds, I just like to lightly water them on top for additional moisture before closing up the container. Next is this blue stem goldenrod, and the seeds are so small that they put them in a separate package. So I will just sprinkle them on top. Usually these small seeds, you don't really need to cover them with soil. So this is a perennial for zones 4 through 8, and it likes partial shade to shade. Um, it is three feet tall by three feet wide, and it is deer resistant. It flowers in the fall, so another great one for fall pollinators. Next is this Jacob's Ladder. Once again, tiny seeds, a little bigger, so I could be a little more careful about not overseeding uh, my container. So this plant is also a perennial for zones three through eight. And this one likes a little more sun to partial shade, very small, 12 inches tall by 12 inches wide. And this is a spring blooming flower. Next is the hairy deer tongue. And these are minute seeds like poppy seeds. So just sprinkle as best as you can. This is a perennial for zones three through nine, 18 inches tall by 12 inches wide, so nice and short. It is a deer resistant plant and is a larval host for several of the checker spot butterflies and it blooms in the springtime. So that's all for the natives. Now this is a perennial, a coneflower, mellow yellow, and the seeds are much larger so you can really decide how many seeds you really want to put in the container. So I'm really only going to put about six to eight, um, at most a dozen in there in case some don't germinate. And this one, because it's bigger, uh, a bigger seed, you do have to put a little bit of soil on top to cover it. So next I have the foxglove dalmatian peach and these are pelleted seeds. They have in a little vial and they're very tiny uh, so pelleted helps and yes I dropped the seeds but I was able to recover most of them. This is uh, a hardiness zone four to nine but is a biannual. It's supposed to flower in the first year this particular one but I never really get to Get, have it flower in the same year. Um, it does take 120 to 135 days to maturity. So perhaps uh, I do have to start it in the fall in order to have that occur. So now my containers are all ready to go outside. 
and this is my first batch of winter sewing done. So my next batch is probably going to be done in the first week of February and then another batch around middle of February and they will all go out in this area just along this um, raised beds. So if you have any winter sewing questions, please drop them down below. And don't forget to hit that like button, and I'll see you next time. Bye.